Okay, so this is Jam Synth, and this is Jam Synth and TWC Gym, the Weather Channel, Weather Scan Remastered, Track One. This is the first in a series of all the Weather Scan Remastered tracks that will be released on October 18th. Pre order is available now through Bandcamp and Spotify. Now, you hardly get any remastering tutorials on YouTube. Knowing that the process is easy, just take all the stems from the original track and just space them out in stereo. And then just perform other remastering techniques and audio repair, such as denoise, decrackle, and declick and declip. This is the same case for all the vinyl tracks and all other antique media that is up for remaster. Now, for the weather scan music, this is the chance to really remaster if you can use only. EQ and the stereo field. No distortion allowed. No saturation allowed. Even if it's used to bring up the high frequencies. No distortion allowed. No camel crusher. Even if it happens really fast. No reverb. I'm only talking about EQ and the stereo field. Okay, so let's go. Now all weather skin music begin with this silence. That is the li that is literally what it's present. That's literally what's present in every weather scan music upload for TWC Jim's playlist. To remove that, I'm just going to set the snap to grid function to none. And then drag it in to where that first note plays on the all instruments. And then, voila. Now, so the order in all the projects, starting with the track one through track 33, will start from the top down in the order. All instruments, drums, bass, and vocal. Now vocal, I have to split because they will be a part of the all instrument section. Now, voice synth is also used in the process of the production of those tracks back then and they're mixed in with the instruments as well. Now, how do I get all these stems since there's only one audio track? Well, I know there are loads of AI stem creation software like Splitter AI and X minus Pro AI. However, I chose the real deal. I just hope RX8 music rebalance. And I mainly separated all the tracks. So I have control of all the sound. You know what I mean? By all valor necessary. Now let's get into the project. Let's turn down the tempo to around 98 because that is the original tempo of the original track and let the valor begin. Let's start with EQ. That failed to broke E2. Now, we gotta reroute the stems to their former tracks, their former mixer tracks. And now, let's see the frequencies. I'm gonna raise the master. I'm gonna raise the high band here and change the slope to around 40 dB per octave. There are a lot of piercing frequencies in there. So let me do a notch. I also do a Substantial rise in the mid frequencies as well. Okay, so now for the stereo field. Now I'm not going to use S1 Imager for the, you know, project. As I have explained how i done the usage in Jam Synth and Chords of Orion, the elements I'm out with Fervent Heat. Go check out that video on that production. However, I'm going to use another Imager. 
the Ozone 8 Imager as a part of Ozone 8. Now, to constitute the entire project. More on that for other projects as well. However, not for this, but not for this one. More on that later. But now, Ozone 8 Imager. So, for the Ozone 8 Imager, I'm only going to focus on the frequencies on the mid, high mid, and the highs as a part of the band 2, band 3, and 4. Now let's bring up the width to, now let's bring up bands 2, 3, and 4 up. And turn on the stereoize section. This is the effect it will give off. So here's that. And with. So, you think I would call it a day, right? <laughs> Wrong! Also on the imaging section, the serial imaging, I also use the Sennheiser Ambio Orbit, which is mostly used for 8D audio for YouTube videos and such. Now, for the Ozone 8 imager, it's just a minor change. And as I said, this is not going to constitute the entire project. All I did was just do you know, stereo imaging. I'm also bring up the drums. No saturation allowed, remember? Let me solo them for you. Let me change the EQ in here. Do a substantial EQ of the low and some in the mid. And then we're going to also use Ozone 8. However, for the drums, this is going to be a little different. I'm only going to use the stereo on the mid and high band. Now for the drum on the low, the sub frequencies, I'm going to turn them down so that they're all mono. This is the effect. Let's turn on the stereo rise section. This is the effect that will give off when you have stereo rise turned on. The effect is subtle so you can... The effect is subtle. But it might make a difference. Amazing. Now for the stereo rise, I mean, now here's the drum without the stereo rise and with. Amazing. Now for the bass, it'll be a little different. This will also be in mono, but I'm only going to use a certain. EQ on this one and also do only a little EQ on the low and again Ozone 8 Imager make sure stereo rise is on make sure the super low is turned on and this time make sure that the mid is also low as well but boost a little bit of the mid and high this is the bass let's solo with the effect That's without. Now here's the effect. 
It's a little subtle. Now for the vocal, that doesn't get as much attention. That's used for the subtle effect. Now remember, we're not using any reverb, right? To bring it out. So, for the vocal, I'm using the EQ. But not too much, as I don't like to hear the piercing frequencies here. Not needed. Now, just like all instruments and drums for only the mid and high frequencies, I'm also going to use Ozone 8 Imager. Let's turn on Stereo Rise. And bring up the uh, bands 2, 3, and 4. Here's the effect without and with. That was the effect without. And here's the effect with. For joining the Weather Channel Weather Scan Remastered Track 1. Track 2 is next.